Unboxing time of the month of November. We're gonna be unboxing the boxy charm of the box of the month of November. It's the base box. If you guys don't know what boxy charm is, it's basically a makeup subscription box that retails for $27, not including tax, and always brings five full size products. If you wanna look more into it, I'll leave a link down below. But we're gonna go ahead and start off with the card. The card is giving gold vibes. It just says it's giving, whoa, it's giving giftable glam. I'm kind of excited for this month's box. Kind of a little, not shook, but I'm just happy to play with new makeup. I'm about to give you a sneak peek of all the products inside. A little sneak peek. The first product would be the Zuna Magic Beauty Lush and Plush Hydrating Lip Balm. It has mango and cherry. And if that doesn't click in your head, basically, where I'm 100% I want to say 99.9, .9, but 100% sure that one is flavored mango, the other one is cherry. This is a hydrating, lightweight lip balm that leaves the lips soft and lush, infused with vitamin E to nourish lips and jojoba oil to heal dry lips, which retails for $16. And um, your girl needs because my lips are looking a little bit dry. Oh, this is so cute. Ah! I think they are a little bit tinted, like a slight tiny bit. I want to smell it. Oh, it does smell like cherry. Fun fact though, I hate the scent cherry though. Anything flavored cherry as well because it just reminds me of medicine because your girl has been traumatized since childhood. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the scents, but I would prefer using the mango one. So we're just going to put some on. Oh my god, I feel like my lips came back to life. Ooh, it does feel hydrating. But the second product would be a skincare item that I'm not going to be using. Um, when I get skincare products, I usually don't use them right away because obviously I'm filming a makeup video. But this is from TYNT Skin and it's a gel mask. I am excited that I did get a gel mask because gel masks on pampering days are the best. This is the Reveal Spa Water Gel Mask which retails for $28. And this gel mask has hyaluronic acid, cucumber, and melon extract. It refines the skin with hydration for finer looking pores. Um, Anything minimizing pores, I'm always sold. I feel like this is gonna be a lightweight gel mask and it looks so cute but now for the fun part which is the makeup i got an item from item which is an item by addison ray tongue twister right but this retails for 24 dollars. it is the in my element eyeshadow palette it has 10 buildable shade shadows it's warm shadows, cool neutrals, and star-dusted shimmers for a look that's out of this world. From that, I am guessing it has a mixture of everything. I don't know. But let's do the satisfying unpacking because it's one of those cardboard packaging that you just rip apart. Clearly, it wasn't satisfying. Oh, okay, I got it. Stand this sustainable packaging because this is literally a cardboard and it will dissolve. So one point for Addison right there. And it's just this rose gold one. Oh my god, I am not a little bit salty, but if I'm not wrong, this month you were able to choose three items. The first item was an item I did want, which was the Lunar Beauty eyeshadow palette. But everybody and their moms um, beat me to it because it was like out of stock. The reason I also remember that was because the packaging, it has the moon and the stars and reminds me of Lunar Beauty. Ooh. Okay, so it has three warm shadows and three cold shadows. So that was true. And then the shimmer looks so stunning. Also looks like it would fall apart. So I just want to swatch real quick. Let's swatch. But it struck. 
it's so pretty you can't even see because it looks identical to my skin color i'm definitely feeling the warm tones of this palette so that's exactly what we're gonna use because it's screaming full vibe even though the cool undertones are as well but i just reminds me of the leaves falling off the trees by the way if you guys are like screaming at me did you prep your eyelids and all that i did i went ahead did my brows and prepped my eyelids by putting on what is it called eye primer but the shade i am gonna go in with is this air sign that's the shadows name i think the look i'm gonna go for right now is halo because this looks really pigmented to give it a more blendless finish i'm gonna go in with solar and just try to blend air sign and solar together seamlessly a little chit chat moment i don't think i will be able to have the cold this year oh my god i swear as the year is passive i just can't handle the cold no more I feel like I'm just becoming like an old lady because I even remember back in the day when I was younger I would go out with just a jean jacket my shirt and 40 to 30 degree weather even below and I would say I wasn't cold to be honest I really wasn't but I would have a scarf and a hat and all that but now I need a big black puffer jacket looking like a marshmallow like I don't care because I'd rather be warm than just go out and freeze to death i think i got the eyeshadow where i wanted to be i am gonna go in now with zenith and just blend that all out once again blending 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 till your literal hand just falls off now i'm gonna go in with air sign again and just define the orange on the crease yes like that oh my god these shadows are actually so pigmented but also so buildable so like what's your formula Edison Rake okay and now we're gonna play the blending game just on the outer corner parts oh my god I'm about to swatch all of these I already swatched starstruck but let me swatch it on my arm so we could compare and contrast then the second one would be stellar then would be star sign and then moonstar which moonstar looks so beautiful and purple okay so this would be starstruck the top one right the second one will be stellar the third star sign and the last moonstar i want to say that stellar doesn't look bad for this look but starstruck either I think I'll do Starstruck because it has like a hint of orange to it. Now moving on to the fourth item. Oh, I am shooketh. Well, I was shooketh when I saw what this was. But I got the Natasha Denona's Cupid Cheek Duo. This retails for $42. And I have a eye booger in my eye and I cannot see. I am going to go blind. <gasps> I got off track. This retails for $42 and it's the perfect pairing of cheek formula. It's a duo and it features a lightweight hydrating cream blush and a luminous powder highlighter and two shades that are flattering to whatever skin tone. That's what it says. <gasps> Whoa, this texture has me shook. I think I'm gonna go in with this boy right here it is on the pink but red shade which will perfectly match my eyeshadow oh i thought it was gonna be that pigmented and it is oh i put a lot oh my god it's so pretty my nose is gonna run I know I look ridiculous, but this is makeup problems 101 hack when your nose is running. Oh my god, this blush is so stunning. I cannot take myself serious. Oh, 
I just keep screaming. <laughs> Let me be vocal about this. I love this cream blush. It blends so smoothly. And it looks like I'm blushing for days. Okay, so I think I am gonna powder now for real. Come back with the fifth and final product. This is the look so far and I am loving it. But if you see my lashes are wonky, they are. I want to refix them because I gotta go out pick up Emily. So we're just gonna ignore it and act like my lashes are perfect. But either way, um, the next thing is from London and it's a velvet lip liner which retails for $18. It's a velvety soft lip liner. Look at the packaging though, it's so cute. Oh, perfect. Might be a little too pink for this look. We'll see how it looks. I wanna say I like it, but I already feel like I hate it. <laughs> Hold up, let me dry up my lips. Cause we have the lip balm, which is a little bit slippery. I am gonna go in with this orange looking Melt Cosmetics lip liner that I've been obsessed with in the shade Mom. It is a little too orange. Meanwhile, the lip liner is too pink and I overlined the crap out of my lips. We're gonna fix that with, you know, a uh, concealer. And this is the final look of this November BoxyCharm Base Box. I am so in love with this look. But we're gonna review each item one by one and I'll let you guys know my opinion on these products. First one is this gel mask. Haven't used it, but I am excited to use this on my pampering days. The second product were the lip balms. I will be using these when I don't tend to find my lip balms because I do use and abuse them and then I misplace them. So I go into my drawer and just grab any lip balms because these are my favorite ones. I do want to make sure that they have no sorts of tint. It has a little bit of payoff, but nothing crazy. It just most likely will match the shade of your... Oh no. I lied. The cherry one is pigmented. So the cherry one, if you want like a little bit of tint, you could use this bombs. But I, as I told you, I hate cherry the scent anything scented cherry reminds me of medicine so i just would prefer not to use it then the third product was this item from addison ray and girl just tell me that just spell it just tell us the formula because it's so pigmented buildable easy to blend and i have nothing bad to say about this and surprisingly i'm shook because Addison Ray, like who would have thought her makeup line is actually bomb because I do love her lip gloss too And I forget what other product I love from her. Was it does she have a concealer? I think it's a concealer that I also enjoyed from her line, but this item stunning It has warm shades cool shades and then the pop of shimmer which are Pigmented like, look at my eyeshadow. It is the bomb then the fourth item is this Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. Oh, I did forget to add highlights, so let's do that real quick. Let's see how stunning her highlight is. I'm scared to grab a lot. I can't tell. Oh, okay, yes, I could tell now. Something. Ah! <laughs> Bruh. Looking like a bird, sounding like a bird. Oh my god. This has to be the item that sold me on this box. I love this product. The blush is just so pretty and blendable, blends so easily. The highlight, girl, tell me this highlight ain't beautiful and stunning. If you could buy this, separately from the whole base box go to sephora buy this because it is beautiful i'm obsessed with this and i'm gonna hold on to this for dear life until i use restock but i am shook that i got this product on the base box and now for the fifth item because i'm just keep raving about this because like look at this blush look at this highlight 
okay the last item was this lip liner i honestly didn't like it there are some lip liners where you struggle to see the pigment that was me with this the bottom for i don't know why the bottom of my lip was fine but for the top i feel like it wasn't that visible and i just have to keep reapplying so this is a no for me but out of all the products i enjoyed every single product except the lip liner and the lip balms again the lip balms is nothing like to like deal it's not a deal breaker for me but that's it for this boxy charm face box this box was a hit for me i am gonna give you guys the calculations of this whole entire box the whole box worth wasn't that much it was 128 only when i paid 30 dollars so i definitely got my money's worth just by this i got my money's worth because this is 42 dollars but that's it for this boxy charm unboxing video if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe for more content and i'm so obsessed and thank you for watching everybody bye